What's up everyone, this is Ray Yuka here and today I'm going to give my thoughts and impressions of the Street Fighter V beta. At least the final phase that is because that's it, this beta is over. It's already passed, it already hit its final phase. And Capcom pretty much gave everyone a taste of what's to come. And with that being said, they allowed almost all the stages that were available in previous betas to be all available in the final phase as well as almost the whole roster besides one character and let me be clear by when I say all the stages all the stages that were available in the beta I do not know how many more stages are actually in the game I'm pretty sure there were some stages left out just for the official retail release of the game so with that being said and I repeat all the stages that were available in different phases of the beta were all put together in the final phase for everyone to play and enjoy <laughs> with that being said the things that I noticed is, is that you didn't have to purchase the stages with fight money this time around they were just available but I am wondering once this game fully releases do we still have to earn fight money to unlock these stages or will it or will the fight money be used for other things such as colors for the character or costumes and etc because they pretty much confirmed that you could use fight money to unlock on um, characters as well and that'll be the dlc characters of course but that's a whole another conversation for a whole other time so besides that the online felt a lot more solid in the final phase of beta it actually felt a lot better than what it was so it seems like Capcom put a lot of work into making the online as solid as it can be in the final phase of the beta. And I'm hoping that it's a lot more improved once the official game releases. Besides that, as I said not that far long ago, most of the characters were made available to play with. Besides one, of course. And you also, well at least I got to experience some matches where I felt like I was fighting some OP characters. And before... I didn't think there would be OP characters in Street Fighter 5, but I was terribly wrong. And with that being said, I've, I have to say, in my opinion anyway, I felt that Zangief was OP. <laughs> Zangief to me, it, he's a threat in Street Fighter 5. And some may disagree, but I, I think he's a threat. And besides that, I also think, um, well, Nash, as they call him, well, Charlie. But I call him Frank and Nash because he got some Frankenstein thing going on. So he also feels a bit uh not OP, but he Nash is strong. There's no denying that he he's also strong in this beta. So I'm wondering what's gonna be ironed out once this game releases. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these characters over time are going to be tweaked out and balanced a lot more. So then the game could feel more balanced anyway. Overall, the final phase of the beta was fun. It was cool to see that Capcom allowed um, most of the stages from the different phases of the beta to be playable in the final phase, as well as most of the cast of Street Fighter V as well. That was cool to see. But where there was good, there was some bad, and with that being said, um, they definitely need to put more balancing to certain characters, in my opinion, anyway. The game releases February 16th. And I can't wait to play the actual full version of this whenever it releases. But I say whenever, but obviously it releases February 16, 2016. So those are my thoughts and impressions of the Street Fighter V beta. Anyways, I'll put the link down below in the description to the cinematic trailer if you're wondering more about the story and information on that, of course. And until next time, everyone, this is Ryuki here saying sign off.